Alright guys, what's going on? This is a bit of a uh, a different video. I've not done one of these before, I can say. But I acquired it differently. This air is, well, I imagine a Dell Inspiron 530 tower. Now, as you can tell, it's probably slightly worse for wear than it would normally be. I mean, there's not even the badge there. It's Core 2 Duo, according to the sticker on the front, and it was running Vista. Um, as you can tell, it's slightly battered. I mean, look, it doesn't even stand straight. The side panels, like, all oh, coming away there, where the back's out. And uh, it looks like somebody's been trying to prise this side panel off here. I was probably just with the force that it actually hit it. Because what's happened to this is it's come out of a skip. So, yeah. A skip. I seen it there, and I said to the guy that was near it, you know, can I have that? And he was like, yeah, alright, if you want it. And I was like, sorted. Dived in and got it. It's still got the screws in. The proper screws and everything. Uh, as we can see here, it's had impacts. That's obviously where it's hit something. Uh, hopefully it should be okay. I mean, it might have survived. You never know. Stranger things have happened. This side's quite badly done. It's all lifting here and everything. It really is in a bad way, so it's not going to be functional within this case. I can assure you that much. But I am guessing that it's probably going to have bits inside it, because it doesn't look like it's been stripped or anyone's tried to destroy it. Obviously, apart from it going in a skip, but you wouldn't look too brilliant if you've been lobbed into a skip either. I'm going to pop this side off and have a look inside. Bets on there being, like, everything in it. Hmm, no. Right, I'm gonna lay this down. Let me pause a minute. Bam, and it's lay over on its side. Let's get this side panel off. It's not too bad, actually, this side. <laughs> Considering the other one. Let's put that out of the way. Alright. Now, we are complete. We've got a hard drive in here. Which is probably what it, this is probably the configuration it came with. Um, I mean, we've got two sticks of memory in. We've got this hard drive. This looks like a Seagate one. It's a uh, yeah, it's Seagate. Probably like two fifty or something. All right, there's a one gigabyte sticks of fifty three hundred as you can see there. Let me pull back out. We've got the CPU in place, if it would focus that'd be great, there we go. CPU appears to be in, it's got quite a, I don't know if that's a larger heatsink than the other one I had it's got in it or not. Seems quite chunky though. Uh, and it's all still wired. I can't see any damage to the board, it doesn't look like these sockets have been moved back too far. So maybe that'll still work if I can just bash that out a bit. I'm going to take the other side off and check behind the motherboard. Hopefully that them dents haven't come in too far. Alright, flipped over. This side panel is basically begging to be opened. It's popping off and I've only just took the screws in. Look at them dents on that thing. Maybe the other way you can see it better. Yeah, you can see that better there. Look at that. Damn. Get that out of the way. And on inspection it looks like we are good. I mean, the dents don't seem to have actually done anything to the back plate of the motherboard motherboard tray and it's actually loose so that's probably helped part because it's not actually fixed into the bottom of the casing it has some maneuverability on it you can see the hard drive now it's a oh it's actually a 320 gigabyte you can see that there now it's focused 320 gigabytes it's just there I do doubt the hard drive will work I mean if it's been thrown in a skip it doesn't really stand a huge chance, so yeah, hard drives aren't the most uh, rugged thing in the world. The rear I.O. seems okay, I mean there's no like ports that seem to be broken, this VGA is bent out a bit, could possibly bend that back. The USBs and stuff seem intact, focus damn it, there we go. So yeah, I'm going to try and bend this out a little and then I'll probably plug it in. Now this actually bent out a lot easier than I expected. 
I mean, I just literally had to get hold of it there and go, and it was out. All the PCI slot things aren't touching the board anymore. Uh, on we go. So far, so good. Got a green light on the power supply. Let's try the uh, front power button. Stopped again. Now I've got an orange light. Hmm. Orange light's usually bad caps, so I'm gonna say it's the power supply. Power light's gone. I'm gonna try a different power supply. Alright, there's a new power supply. This is some cheapo thing. It's all Molex, there's no SATA, so I can't test the disk drives. But um let's try if the board will work. Oh, my buffer turned it on. Hmm. Huh. Orange power light. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna try taking the memory modules out. No RAM test. It was like and then stopped. Hmm. Alright. Off with that. Let's disconnect everything but the power supply from the board. Alright, the only thing on the board now is the power supply, the rear fan and the CPU fan. Nope, we are not happy. Alright. Let me double check there's a CPU in it. I think, I mean, look at it, there should be. Alright, so I've changed route a little bit. I've stripped everything out of the case. Everything. And uh, check the power supply. The power supply seems okay. So, there's that. So now I'm going to try the board out, not in the case, but just bare like this, with one stick of memory. Alright, time to try the board on its own with just one stick of memory. Power supply's on, power light's on. Light's on on the board, and. I could press the button, that'd be great. Oh, orange. Right, heat sink off and let's see what's under there. Here's the CPU. It's a close to Duo E4700. 2.6 gigahertz. The socket seems okay. I can't see any bent pins, bad pins, etc. So I'm going to try it now with no... Um, CPU in the socket. I'm just going to plug the chassis fan in. Then it gives me an indication. And I'll see what happens. I'm going to set the memory out as well. Alright, here's the final try before this board is just down as fried. No, nope. it's down as fried. Luckily. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> no. Uh, that's uh, another spare, that's from uh, another old smashed up Inspiron 530. But um, it's the same board. I'll probably end up trying the CPU and memory in here, see if that works, and go from there. Alright. This is the CPU and RAM from the other Inspiron 530 on this board that I know is good. Let's try this out. So far, so good. A post beep. Hell yeah. F2 going into the BIOS. Restart it. So I missed it the first time. F2, F2, F2. Alright. System info. 2 gigs of RAM. Go to Duo E4700, 2.6 GHz, and we are good. Alright, let's try the hard drive. Try this. It's spinning up. I'm getting 
into the setup. Uh, there we go, we've got it detected. Quit without saving, yes. See if it boots. I don't know what the BIOS boots the order is, so we'll do boot menu. On the hard drive. Got some clicking and noises and stuff. There we go. So the hard drive did survive. Now I am impressed at that. That is one rugged hard drive. <laughs> um, power supply is working. CPU, memory. The DVD drive probably will as well. Uh, that's for the bin. I think we're good. Thanks for watching anyway. I'm going to build this into a uh, somewhat reasonable computer for like Minecraft and stuff for my niece. So I might do a video on that, I might not. If you want to have a look at my channel, it'll be on there if it's done. Thanks for watching this video anyway. I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting.